Jared is an American businessman and well-known reality TV star who gained fame through his appearances in the popular A&E show Storage Wars. He was known for his fiery personality and his on-screen clashes with other cast members, but quickly became a fan favorite for his bold approach to buying storage lockers and his willingness to take risks in order to make a profit. He recently split from his longtime partner, Brandy Passante, involving a lengthy and emotional court battle. While he may be known best for his appearances in Storage Wars, there is much more to this reality TV star than meets the eye. Continue listening to find out more about Jared's background, relationship history, career, and life after divorce. Jared Schultz was born on the 15th of October, 1977, in Long Beach, California, USA, the older child of his parents with a younger brother named Brandon. He grew up in a middle-class family, but his parents divorced when he was still young. After his primary education, he attended and matriculated from Long Beach Wilson High School, where he was an impressive athlete on both the track and football teams. He then attended Golden West College in Huntington Beach, California, where he studied business management. Jared began working immediately after college, initially doing various jobs to help make ends meet. He worked as a sales associate at a carpet store and as a maintenance man for a mobile home park. But during his time working odd jobs, Jared worked towards having his own business and being his own boss. He eventually launched Outlaw Apparel a clothing and accessories business, especially for the biker community. Schultz's experience in the industry gave him an advantage in creating a brand that resonated with his target audience, and the business quickly became successful, which gained a lot of attention. Along with his appearance in Storage Wars, he dabbled in other ventures, including launching a thrift store, even creating merchandise based on his popular catchphrase, yup, Post his exit from the show, Schultz continued to pursue several business ventures, including the launch of his application, Treasure Chess Trader, through which users can buy and sell goods online. His booming business caught the eyes of Storage Wars producers, who offered him a chance to be in the show alongside his then-partner, Brandy Passante. The TV reality series focuses on professional buyers who bid on abandoned storage units in hopes of finding valuable items to resell. Shortly after his entrance into the show, he attracted attention once again, this time for his brash personality and clever negotiating skills, and became a fan favorite. The couple earned a lot of money through the profits from the storage lockers they bought. He was able to use his business experience and his negotiating skills to earn more and more each season he was on the show. Unfortunately, his time on the show came to an end in 2017 when he was fired. The reason for his departure wasn't made clear, but it was rumored that he had been involved in a physical altercation with a producer. Schultz later confirmed that he'd been fired, but insisted he was not the one who had started the fight. Following his departure, Schultz continued to appear in other reality TV shows. In 2018, he made a guest appearance in the Discovery Channel series Diesel Brothers, in which he helped the hosts to build a custom car. He also made appearances in Celebrity Family Feud and Storage Wars Northern Treasures. In addition to his business ventures, Schultz has been involved in philanthropic endeavors, using his social media platforms to advocate for causes he cares about such as animal welfare and anti-bullying initiatives. He's also been involved in various charity events, including motorcycle shows, in which he shares his expertise on entrepreneurship and building successful businesses, committing to giving back and making a positive impact on the world around him. One cause that Schultz has been particularly passionate about is raising awareness of and funds for breast cancer research particularly close to Schultz's heart, as his mother is a breast cancer survivor. In 2014, Jared participated in a fundraising event for the Susan G. Komen Foundation, in which he and other members of the Storage Wars cast auctioned off items to benefit the organization. The businessman involved in a 2015 charity poker tournament 
hosted by actor Mark Wahlberg to benefit the Mark Wahlberg Youth Foundation. Schultz also made an appearance at the annual Ride for Autism Motorcycle Ride. Concerning his now ex-wife, Brandy Passante, she's a well-known reality TV star, entrepreneur, and storage auction buyer, who's captured the attention of millions of people worldwide. She was born on the 16th of May, 1980, in Harris County, Texas, USA, and grew up in the small town of LaPorte, Texas, where she attended LaPorte High School. Brandy was interested in fashion and design from a young age, and also always had a natural talent for spotting great deals. She attended the University of Texas, where she studied fashion design and merchandising, and after graduating, naturally pursued a career in the fashion industry. Brandy initially worked at a carpet store in Tustin, California, where she met her future longtime partner, Jared Schultz. The pair were an instant match, falling in love and eventually starting a family together. They were blessed with two children, son Cameron and daughter Peyton. Their appearance on Storage Wars earned them much recognition from fans thanks to their unique personalities and dynamic relationship. While Jared was known for his hot-headedness and impulsiveness, Brandy was the cool and level-headed one, who always knew how to keep him in check. Their on-screen chemistry made them one of the most beloved couples on the show. Brandy owns and operates the popular thrift store Now and Then in Orange County, California. She's also been a featured guest in many other TV shows and podcasts, including The Rachel Ray Show, The Jeff Probe Show, and The Adam Carolla Show. Additionally, she worked with many charities over the years, including the American Cancer Society and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. In 2018, the couple announced that they were separating, which shocked fans, with many left wondering what had caused the split. While the couple didn't publicly disclose the specific reasons for their separation, it was widely reported that their relationship had been on the rocks for some time. There were rumors of infidelity and financial struggles, as well as disagreements over the direction of their business ventures. Additionally, their on-screen bickering had become more heated in recent seasons, leading many to speculate that there were deeper issues at play. Despite the rumors, Brandy and Jared remained relatively tight-lipped about the details of their separation, releasing a joint statement to the media stating that they had mutually and amicably decided to go their separate ways. They also emphasized their commitment to co-parenting their two children, and maintaining a positive relationship for their sake. However, the end of their relationship didn't come without its legal challenges. In August 2018, Jared was arrested on suspicion of possession of a controlled substance, which led to a public feud between the former couple. Brandy publicly criticized Jared's behavior, stating that his actions were unacceptable and that she was disappointed in him. The legal battle continued when they were forced to face off in court over the division of their assets. According to reports, the couple had amassed a sizable fortune over the years through their storage auction business and other ventures. However, the details of their financial settlement haven't been made public, and it's unclear how much each of them received in the divorce settlement. But the court battle between Brandy and Jared was reportedly tense and emotional fighting fiercely for their share of the assets. Ultimately, they were able to come to an agreement, and their divorce was finalized in late 2018. Since then, they've both moved on with their lives, focusing on their respective careers and families. In an interview with In Touch Weekly in 2019, Jared expressed regret over the way their relationship ended, saying, It was a long run, and I wish her the best. We had a good life together, but it was time to move on. Aside from business, Schultz had some hobbies that he enjoys in his free time. One of his favorite pastimes is riding motorcycles, which he's been passionate about since he was a teenager. He's also been known to enjoy hunting and fishing, and has posted photos on social media of his hunting trips and the fish he's caught. Schultz's business, Outlaw Apparel, has been successful in part because of his expertise in the biker community. 
He's been a member of various motorcycle clubs over the years and has even ridden with the Hells Angels. Schultz also enjoys classic rock music and has been known to attend concerts by his favorite bands, such as Guns N' Roses and ACDC. As hinted previously, Schultz is a recovering addict, having struggled with drug addiction. In a 2013 interview with People Magazine, he revealed that he'd gone through rehab to get clean. When it comes to his favorite things, Schultz has some specific preferences. He enjoys drinking Coors Light beer and has posted photos on social media of himself enjoying a cold one after a long day of work. Schultz has said that one of his biggest inspirations in life is his mother, who is a breast cancer survivor, citing her as his biggest supporter and the reason why he's achieved so much success in his life. Jared also cited his children as a major source of inspiration. He's a devoted father to his two kids, Cameron and Peyton, and has posted numerous photos of them on social media over the years. Despite his success in life, Schultz has always made it clear that his family comes first, and has said that he hopes to set a good example for his children by working hard and pursuing his passions. Since his separation with Pisante, Schultz has been keeping a low profile. He hasn't appeared in any new seasons of Storage Wars since 2017, and it's unclear if he has any plans to return to the show in the future. Instead, he's been focusing on his personal life and his business ventures. Schultz continues to run Outlaw Apparel, which has remained a successful business and has also started a new venture called Jared's Rustic Rehab, which focuses on repurposing old items into new home decor. Sharing his creations on social media and fans have responded positively. Schultz is quite active on social media and has a large following on both Instagram and Twitter with over 168,000 and 70,000 followers respectively. Among the things he regularly posts are his life updates, his pets, promotional content for his business ventures, and pictures doing his hobbies. Namely, spending time outdoors, camping, and hiking. Over the years, he's also used social media to advocate the causes he supports, such as animal welfare and anti-bullying initiatives, encouraging his followers to support animal rescue organizations, while posting pictures of his beloved pet bulldog, Stella. According to authoritative sources, such as Celebrity Net Worth, Jared's modest fortune is estimated to be around $2 million. The main sources are his earnings from his appearance in Storage Wars and his business ventures. Although it is unclear how much he made from the show, it's assumed that he continues to earn royalties from it. Another source of income in his public appearances at various events, such as motorcycle shows, speaking engagements, and charity events. Jared has remained focused on expanding his business ventures and improving his life. He continues to be active on his social media accounts, providing updates of his life and activities, and promoting his business. With his unwavering business spirit and strong work ethic, it's safe to say Jared Schultz will continue to be successful, in which we wish him luck. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.